Hello Fuji Fanboy viewer, once again, thank you for coming to this channel. Today, it's a very special day. Occasionally, something special comes along. And today, is this lens. Sigma, not so new. It's actually available for E mount and L mount. So, not so new. But today we're going to talk about it for X mount. When Sigma Singapore contacted me and asked whether I'm interested to take the new, the not so new, 18 to 50 f2.8 zoom lens for a test drive, I said, sure. When I reached their office, when they handed me the lens, I was pleasantly surprised how small this lens is. This is how it looks like when it's paired with a um, X-Pro3 without the lens hood. That's the size. It's pretty small actually. It's about the same size as a bit, I don't know, maybe the same size as the XF18-55 kit lens, f2.8 to f4. Alright. Um, before I proceed, Take a look at some pictures first. Think of the pictures, a very versatile lens indeed, right? I love it. I love working this lens. It's, I like it because it's small. I just put it in my bag or I can hang it around. And um, so what can I talk about it? Autofocus, it's quick. It focuses well. It nails the shot. It nails the focus. It's quiet. Um, the turning circus radius is about 45 degrees and it protrudes out a little bit maybe 20%. That's a quick turn I get from 18 to 50, right? So what makes this lens unique? You see, I did a little chart here. Um, 18 to 55, f2.8, that's about 310 grams, whereas Sigma is 290 grams, even lighter. The standard XF, 16 to 55 two point, that's 655, more than two times heavier than this lens. And the filter size for this is only 55 compared to the Zoom Kit 58, Sigma, which is, no, the XF 16 to 55, 2.8, that's a filter chart 77, that's huge. Tamron has an interesting lens, which I did a review quite some time back, the 17 to 7T, interesting focal length. That has a filter trap 67 and it weighs 525 grams. So this lens is very unique. Okay. To me, I enjoy using it, but are there any downside to it? There are here are a few that I think. The Sun Star is actually very soft, not very defined. Even at F16, Maggie, you can take a look at this picture I'm gonna show you. Uh, it has no IS which is not a deal breaker because I don't think that's Sigma's objective. I think the objective is to make something small. And these days, all the um, newer X-series cameras all have IBIS, so that's not a big issue. 
It is not weather sealed. There are just some rubber gaskets here. Mm, is it a bad lens? No. Okay, optically, it is above average to me. Um, if you push hard enough, you get some great shots too, I'm sure. Who is this lens for? It's for beginners to intermediate and for those who want something small and yet powerful. This lens will be it. I would say that this lens is the ultimate everyday lens. It's like, it is so small, you can bring it anywhere and you don't feel it. And it's versatile at 18 to 50, that works out to 27 to 75 mm in a full frame equivalent. So what is there not to love about it? Is this a bad lens? No. Optically, it's fine. Um, not the sharpest lens for sure, but it is definitely the smallest and it's priced well. Um, for what it is, at Singapore $738, I think this lens commands great value. It's probably my favourite at this point, the essential everyday zoom lens. I can't expect more from it. Once again, thank you for watching Fuji Fanboys. Good night from Singapore.